Hi, I'm Bruno Lopes, I'm the Product Manager for TestCube, and I'm here today to talk with you about the main concepts behind our testing framework. TestCube is an open source testing framework we created to help test your applications running in Kubernetes in a cloud native way. I mean native as in your tests become a part of your Kubernetes cluster configuration, and while at the same time working synchronously with your CI/CD or GitHub's workflow. The same way you define your Kubernetes resources to deploy your application, like your deployment or ingress files, TestCube allows you to take your existing tests and deploy them in the same way you deploy your applications. That way, tests become also part of the state. So when you want to check if your applications are running as you want them to, you just go to your cluster and then use TestCube to run the test that you have defined. You don't need to use Docker, TestCube already provides the support for the testing tools that you already use. So you don't need to configure Docker files or create new Docker images to run the tests. This test cube takes care of that automatically. Right now, you can use all of your existing Cypress or Postman tests, and we'll keep adding support for more tools every month. Still, since test cube is an open source project, we made it very straightforward for anyone to contribute and add more tools there. So if you want to contribute, feel free to check out our docs in the link down below. The way to have with TestCube is using one of these interfaces. The first one is the command line, which you can run manually or add to your CD pipeline. Second one is the dashboard, which functions as a visualization tool for your tests, so it gets a lot easier to find which one of your tests is failing or and to understand why. Let me show you how TestCube adapts to your testing workflow. First, you create your tests like you normally do using your existing tools. Then, for the second step, we import those tests using the command line tool to generate the Kubernetes YAML files for your cluster, which you can then deploy and run them. Finally, the third and last step, if you want to see your test progress or their results, you can go and check it on the dashboard that is deployed to your cluster. And with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like hearing about TestCube, please feel free to give us a start on, on GitHub check our installation guide. We also have our Discord server. I'm always there answering your questions or follow us at Twitter at the Cube Shop. Thanks and I'll catch you guys on the next one.